Absolutely, Max. I mean, to be at Johnson Space Center, this amazing historic place where NASA is doing all sorts of amazing scientific research and things, but today the announcement that the OSIRIS-REx sample has been opened. You may remember on September 24th, uh, they crash-landed into the Utah desert. I shouldn't say crash-landed, it was about 11 miles an hour, but entering the Earth's atmosphere, it was going tens of thousands of miles an hour. So a little bit of a crash landing. But the sample was safe. It was transported here to Johnson Space Center. Now initially when they opened it, they had a good problem. They had a lot of black dust around the edges of when they first opened that capsule. That all was from asteroid Bennu. But they were able to finally open kind of the top part of the core sample. Take a look at this. This is NASA Administrator Bill Nelson actually announcing that moment. It's a feat of engineering and it's NASA's first ever sample from an asteroid. So, you ready to see the results of the mission? Take a peek. So this is the most carbon rich sample we've ever been able to bring back and even able to look at. Now carbon is important because all life is based on carbon. We are carbon based life and this could potentially explain the building blocks of how life began to form on planet Earth. Another thing was also found on asteroid Bennu and that was in the form of clay molecules that contained water. So both of those two things together basically formed potentially the building blocks of life and oceans on planet Earth. And this is the first time we've ever been able to bring back a sample of that and be able to study it. Now, that fine dust in a lot of these particles, you may think, well, we have you know meteorite collections and things that land back on Earth all the time. Well, here's the thing. If it's that fine dust, it's going to burn up in Earth's atmosphere. So we've never been able to obtain a sample quite like this and start to study the origin of our solar system. I love a quote that was said today. They said, this was the right asteroid and it was the right place to land down on it. So incredible moments in, throughout today's press conference and today's unveiling. Uh, school kids from Houston were in attendance. Now, I actually just moments ago spoke with NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, uh, who it's not every day you get to speak to the head of NASA. So we're going to have that interview plus the principal investigator Dante Loretta later today at 4-5 and nine, but such a joy to be in Houston, so amazing. For now, live at Johnson Space Center, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.